Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and I am so excited to start drawing today. Are you excited? Awesome, okay, you should be because this animal is really fun to draw. It's like one of the more fun ones to draw and to color. So let me give you a few hints as to what it is. This animal can be found anywhere in the world. It leaves a slime trail. That was a big hint. And they have shells. Did you figure out what it was? Of course, we are drawing a snail today. And I couldn't be more excited because I love drawing that cool spiral shape and then we're gonna do all sorts of colors in the shell. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's make sure we have everything we need to get started. Of course, to get started, we need a sheet of paper out and then make sure you have a pencil out, make sure it's sharpened and you have an eraser handy because we're gonna do some sketching. And then after we do that sketching, we're gonna go over it with an outline of a dark marker or a pen. And then uh, after that, we are going to do some coloring. And as I mentioned, the coloring is gonna be really fun on this. Go wild. There are lots and lots of different types of snails and they come in all sorts of colors. So there's no wrong answers when it comes to the colors. All right, so let's get sketching and we'll start with the shell. All right, so I'm gonna start off with like a circle shape right here in the middle. Now you wanna make sure you leave some room over here and over here because we have to put the foot or the tail of our snail and then the head right over here. And if you need help drawing a circle so you want a perfect circle, try getting a bowl out of like your kitchen and then just laying it upside down on here and tracing around it, that should help. All right, because I'm gonna need a little more room over here, I'm actually gonna scoot this back a little bit so I can just kinda move my circle back. And then what I'm gonna do is right here, I'm gonna go down and then what I wanna do is just do something like this. Just kind of cut into my circle a little bit with this little curve. And then under here, I'm gonna kind of have this go up in here. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go start from here. This is how you draw a spiral. You just go up from the top here, just follow this around. And now you have to start going in shorter than what the outside line is. So I'm gonna cut in right here and meet up with this little line right here and get smaller. Oh, my, my sleeve's catching get smaller and smaller as we go in like that so you, all you have to do is go around and then just go bring it closer and closer to the center and then bring it in the middle if you need to draw a dot there first so you know where it's going to end that might help but i'm pretty happy with how my little shell turned out now we can erase this little bit right here because we're not going to need that little part on the outside all right, so we're gonna draw a straight line right under here. If you need, if you have a ruler or something, that might help you draw a straight line. I'm just gonna draw a million little lines here, it looks like, <laughs> to get my straight line. But this will help me figure out where the ground is and the bottom of my snail. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this part in the back. And if you remember me mentioning it, I mentioned it earlier, it's called a foot. That's called the snail's foot, which is really the only foot they have, um, but it's also it looks like the tail. So that's the little bit in the back that's the tail. They call it a foot. And then we're going to draw the head right up here. So here, watch how I do this. So I'm going to kind of do this little S shape starting from right here. And the cool thing about the snails is they can kind of move into lots of different ways. So there's no real right way to do this. So I'm going to draw it this way. And if you feel you want to do it differently or yours turns out a little different, that's totally fine. So I gotta do this for a little better. Let's draw like a little S shape right there. There we go. <laughs> and we'll fix it up here. And then just go straight down. We'll just go straight down and then we'll curve this off to kind of meet the rest of the body. Now, I, I think I'm actually gonna cut this off a little bit shorter. I think it's a little too thick. And then if I want, I can always do stuff like that and you can make that a little bit longer and just get this the way that you want it. But, oh, see, there you go. We have our main snail shape. And there's so many different types of snails in the world. And typically, we only know about the little teeny tiny ones. But they actually have some pretty big ones. The biggest one on land is called an African snail, a giant African snail. And those are the ones that are probably about the size of your palm, an adult's palm. You can fit one of those big, giant shells on there, big snails on there. Underwater, though, they have huge ones that are just massive that you can see that, that are underwater. So lots of different kinds. They live everywhere in the world. You can probably find snails in your backyard right now. They love to eat plants. They're really rough when you find them in your garden because they like to eat all your, your plants, <laughs> all the food, which is not good. You don't want snails in your garden. 
All right, so now we gotta draw the eyeballs. Now, not like my first instinct would be to draw a little eyeball right here, but that's not where their eyes are. They actually have some antennas, and at the end of those antennas, they have eyeballs. So let's do it. I'm gonna make my eyeballs a little, well, a lot bigger than what they typically would be on a snail, but we're the artists, so we can draw what we want. <laughs> we gotta create what we want, and we wanna make sure that we can see them. So I'm gonna draw my stalks right here for their eyes, their little eye stalks is what they call them, or antennas. And then at the tip of them, we'll draw little circles right here. I think I'm gonna draw, I'm kind of drawing a crummy circle there. Ooh, try a little harder. There we go. Okay, there we go, we got the eyeballs on there. And then I'm gonna draw some pupils in the middle of there. Sometimes it's hard when I'm, right, I'm putting my hand on this uh, spiral binding here. There we go, the big pupils, that little black part in their eye. If you make it bigger, it makes them friendlier. So we have a friendly snail. And then uh, we're gonna give them a little mouth. They do have little mouths and they have little tiny, tiny teeth in there. And it's perfect for grinding things up, grinding plants up. So that way, it's almost like little bits of sandpaper in there and it rubs together and it grinds all the food down. And they actually have some more antennas. They have two more antennas and they point downward. They go down here like this. They have more antennas. You know what those antennas are for? They're for helping them find food. It's another um, sense that they can kind of sense out where their food is and what they're gonna eat. Okay, so I think I'm pretty good. I might What I, what I might do is add some more little details in here so I might add some little spots for me to color in. Um, I might go ahead and do some lines over here so I can make little sections in the shell. And those shells are really hard. It's there to protect their body and for snails it's to protect all of their organs. Like kind of like how we have a rib cage and we have bones and all of our uh, our organs like our stomach and our heart and our liver, all that stuff's inside there protected from that hard shell. That's what they have on the outside. So all their body parts, their main body parts are up there in that shell. They're not like hermit crabs where they can just jump out of their shell and go get another one. They grow out of their shells. Let's draw some little lines right here on that shell. Mainly because it's gonna be fun to color, isn't it? <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun to color, and that's what it looks like. And if you do them curved lines, it makes it look like it's rounded off, which a lot of times it is. So uh, let's go ahead and get on to our outlines. And this is where we can clean up any of the mistakes we made or any of the, the scratchy lines that we have for our shell. Dare I try to do this in one shot? Ooh. Makes me a little nervous. We'll have to stop there for a second. Now, if this isn't perfect, is it the end of the world? No, it is not. It's all right if we make some mistakes on here. And you can just say that's what you meant to do. We just meant it to look like that. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> There we go. And then let's uh, let's go ahead and do that body. Now snails, they look a lot like uh, slugs, don't they? They're very closely related to slugs. I know what, I'm not gonna put those little guys on there. I've decided last second, <laughs> I'm not gonna add the, the extra antennas. I don't know why, I don't, I just, you can add them on there. I just think it looks a little cooler without them. And we'll still know it's a snail. Got their little mouth. And then let's do those eye stalks here. Now why do snails have a slimy, slimy little trail that they leave behind? You ever wonder that? Why do they have that slimy trail? Well, that's because it helps them slide around on the ground, actually. That's how they move around. Otherwise, they get kind of stuck. But if they have that slime on there, it helps them glide around on the, on the ground because that's their main way of getting around. They don't, they don't walk. They don't do anything like that. They don't jump around or hop. 
So they have to use something to make it so that they can actually slide around on the ground. Otherwise, it'd be really tough for them. But it also makes it so that they're really slow. <laughs> they're not very fast at all. Unless you've seen the movie Turbo, which is one of my favorites. It's so good. It's about some really, really fast snails. Some really funny, fast snails. If you haven't seen it, go check that out. I love that movie. All right, I'm going to add some more here. Now, I forgot because I didn't erase my sketches underneath. You'll notice that I wanted to leave this line out of there. I didn't want that line on there. So if I want to, I have something called whiteout. And I can add just a little bit of that on there to do that. If you went over it, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> but I should have erased that. It's a, good, it's a good lesson to learn. That's why you always erase that sketch beforehand. Otherwise, you forget and then you just color over it or just do your, your lines over top of it, which can make it so that it doesn't turn out the way you wanted it to. So let's keep going with this shell here. I love snail shells too because on the beach, those are the coolest ones. Those are the coolest ones to see and to find. Do you ever look for shells on the beach? It's a, it's a lot of fun. The best time to look for shells on the beach is when the tide is out. That means when the water is way out there and you can see a lot more of the beach, a lot more of the sand. We would go every summer and, and go look for shells on the beach. And it was a whole lot of fun. All right, there we go. I think I have enough lines on there. Oh, and then I wanna add a few of my circles for decorations purposes. <laughs> Oh, I gotta think of a name. Oh, I haven't even thought of my snail's name. Have you already thought of a name for your snail? Shoot, I need to get on mine. I'll be thinking of one. Also, you have, uh, if you want to add that little streak of slime, I might just go draw a little line so you can kind of see. Let me see. There we go. I'll draw a little line, line back there so you can see it, uh, where the little streak is. But if you want to add something cooler than that, I'm excited to see what you do. That's the really fun part about being an artist is that you get to do what you want. This snail can look however you want. It can be whatever color you want. It can have a tiny shell. It can have a big shell. Its eyeballs could be on the side. I mean, that wouldn't be accurate, but it would still be okay. You could still do it. All right, so if you need to catch up, go ahead and just press pause right now. Uh, otherwise, we'll just meet after we're done coloring. And again, you can go crazy with the colors because there's no rules when it comes to these snails. Alrighty, I'll see you after. My snail is finished. I've also decided on a name for her. I'm gonna call her Sally. I think it's a good name, Sally the Snail. Well, I hope yours turned out great and you had a lot of fun making it. That's what's most important, that you had a lot of fun making it and that you're proud of what you made. And I'm proud of mine and so when we are proud of what we've made, what do we do? That's right, we gotta sign our names. Let people know. Well, thank you so much. I really do want to see what you guys made. So make sure you are continuing to tell your parents to either email us directly and show us photos of what you made, or you can just tag us on Instagram at Brave Kids Art Club, and I would love to see it. So thank you guys so much for drawing with me today. I had a lot of fun. We do these videos every single day except for the weekends. So that's Monday through Friday. Make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please drop it a like. And of course, remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. Alrighty, we'll see you guys next time.